Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is October 29, 2023, and today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40. What is the greatest commandment? is the question of today's gospel. And you know what, my dear friends? If you have 613 laws to ask the question, what is the greatest, is a very valid question, right? And today, we heard that Jesus does not only summarize the commandments, but tells us as well the very essence and the very meaning of the commandments. Today, my dear friends, we are reminded that love is the essence of the commandment. Bear this mind, my dear friends, that the law is not something that prevents us to do something, but law is viewed as an act of love. Love is best express when we love God and others more than ourselves. But her friends, loving God but ignoring the needs of others is hypocrisy. You are a liar if you say you love God but you hate your neighbors, including your enemies. We cannot say we love God but we hate people around us Neglecting the needs of others is neglecting God. Why do we need to love others? Because the others is the face of God. That's why I told you, if you say you love God, we need to prove it by loving our neighbors, including the unlovable, including our enemies. Our first reading for today from the book of Exodus chapter 22 verses 21 to 27 reminds us that a real lover is not an abuser. A genuine lover is not an oppressor. A true lover does not manipulate the weakness of the vulnerable, including the poor, the orphans, and the needy. But the friends, don't talk about love. If you abuse others, never say I love you if you are dishonest to your partner. Never say you love the country, but you are crooked and corrupt at the same time. To love means to give your whole self, holding nothing back. That's why the message of our first reading for today is very clear. A real authentic and genuine lover is not an oppressor and abuser. Our second reading for today tells us to be imitators of God, meaning to say we are called to follow the example of Jesus. But dear friends, in spite of the persecution, choose to love. Even if you are hated, even if you are rejected, our response to hate should be love. And that is what it means to be imitator of Christ. Choose to love because nobody can stop you if you choose to live in love. Nobody can stop you if you choose the way of love. Love is power because love is the other name of God. That's why in our responsorial psalm, we need to love God because love is power. It is strength. To love God is our strength. The gospel is reminding me and you of our Christian duty. And our duty is to love God and to love others. My dear friends, the message is very clear. Love God, not things. Love people, not things. We are invited today 
to love God because that is what we have been created for. We were created to love. Love is our identity. And part of loving God is loving others as well. To conclude with my reflection this Sunday, the Catechism of the Catholic Church is teaching us that love is the most important theological virtue, right? Today, Jesus gives us the two dimensions of love. And what's that? The vertical dimension and the horizontal dimension. And the vertical dimension, that is our love for God. And the horizontal dimension, that is our love for neighbor. That's why every time we, we make the sign of the cross, we are reminded of this full-time duty to love. To love God is a full-time calling. To love others, this is a full-time vocation. Loving God and loving others is not partial. We need to love in season or out of season, in sickness or in, in health, in poverty or in adversity. We have to love, love without limit. And my dear friends, to love is a full-time duty and obligation. That's why the gospel is telling us, and this is where I'm going to end my reflection, we are reminded today to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. And we should love our neighbors the way we love ourselves. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.